Yeah, this morning, a woman who's made clean beauty both her brand and her mission. Hi, yes. Maria. Hi. How are you guys? <laughs> well, Greg Renfro is the founder and CEO of Beauty Counter, one of the leaders in the clean beauty movement. She's also empowering women across the country to become more financially independent and affect real change. I have a Watching her now, you might be surprised to learn that Greg Renfrew hasn't always been into beauty products. I never was a beauty person, to be totally honest. I'm not a product junkie. For me, the you know, I started this company to change the world and to get safer products into people's hands. Renfrew says Beauty Counter, which sells over 140 skincare and cosmetic products, all crafted with safety in mind, is just as much about advocacy and education as it is about the bottom line. Most people would say, you get the company down, let's get the products down, we'll get to the movement much later. So we always say we're educators first. I believe people need uh, to know that there are harmful and questionable ingredients in the products that they use every day. On their website, Beauty Counter prominently features the Never List. More than 1,500 chemicals they say will never be used as ingredients in their products. Are you guaranteeing people that what's in your products is 100% not harmful. When we look at safety, we always talk about our products being safer because we don't have all the answers and no one does, but there are a number of ingredients that have been either banned or restricted in the EU. They've banned or restricted almost 1,400 ingredients. The United States has banned 30 to date. Renfrew says it was the 2006 film An Inconvenient Truth and too many friends struggling with health issues that motivated her to start Beauty Counter in 2011. Armed with potentially life-saving information, she wanted to spread the word. A friend of mine said, have you considered selling and empowering this movement through women? And I thought, wow, that's a really interesting idea. Although Beauty Counter products are available through multiple channels, Add this on for 29. most products are sold by 30,000 independent consultants in the U.S. and Canada. We wanted women to be able to raise their kids and have a profession built around this. It's really a movement that's empowered by women and for women. I think it affords an opportunity to build a business on their own terms that's financially rewarding while simultaneously having significant social impact. Over 100 beauty counter consultants have joined Renfro in Washington in an effort to lobby Congress for more restrictive laws governing the beauty industry. We've held hundreds of meetings with members of Congress and sent I don't know, over 80,000 emails and texts. <clears throat> On top of running her own company, Renfrew is also a wife and a very involved mother of three. So many women um, I talk to think that's not possible, to be doing all of that simultaneously. I always say, you know, you've got this. You can do this. And I think one of the things that we are most challenged with as women, and I do it myself every single day. I'm sure you do at times as well. I doubt myself. Breaking into an industry built around beauty secrets, Renfrew has discovered the power of transparency and her own voice. I think that we're in an exciting moment in time where women feel that they are able to use their voices, they can vote with their wallets, they can speak up on things that they're passionate about, that they can be part of moving us forward to a better place. Greg Renfrew is heading back to Washington next week with more than 100 beauty counter representatives to push for more regulations in the beauty industry. More than 1,400 beauty counter reps in the U.S. and Canada will also be hosting meetings with their local members of Congress and Parliament, and they are a fired-up group. Yeah, just very really empowered. Just, yeah. yeah, I like how they get, there's that entrepreneurial aspect yeah. to it. It's cool. New Mary Kay, new Avon. Yeah. And by the way, if you have not bought her book yet, you should. <laughs> it's called I've Been Thinking It's Out Right Now. Head to today.com. It does make you feel better when you read it. I've been thinking about how much I love you. <laughs>